Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday. Man, how about that Ireland that is now over? I slept 14 hours. <laughs> 14 hours. I got up this morning at like, well this, I can't say this one, this afternoon at like 3. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of time to work on stuff because Mao had a parent-teacher conference tonight and she was all like, hey, you need to come with me because I haven't slept a lot and you have and you can drive me back. And I was like, okay. So we just got out of that, but I talked to Jarrett and uh, I was like, hey, I haven't seen you in a while and we're gonna be in Conway, which is where you live. So do you wanna like get some food? And he was like, yeah, let's do that. There's this place called the Crafty Rooster. So we are on our way now to meet Jarrett at the Crafty Rooster. Yeah, Jarrett. We're actually following we're Jarrett. We're actually following Jarrett. But we're gonna go eat at the Crafty Rooster. And um, I'm feeling good, because I got 14 hours of sleep. Also, I was kinda sick, you guys remember? And um, I, I still feel a little sick, but not really. Like, I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. And it's nice because that's the first time I've been sick since last February, like 14 months ago. When we had the deadly virus. When me and Mal were like deathly sick. And uh, yeah, now I feel all right. And I got over that really quick. Although it did suck to have, you know, such a runny nose while we were trying to enjoy Ireland, but it wasn't so bad. Anyway, let's go meet Jarrett and enjoy some foods. This is what we got. There are these chicken fingers and also the bacon fries with cheese, which are awesome. And uh, they have a special breading on them, which Jarrett says is actually Captain Crunch. It is in the breading, yes. And it's really, different really like it's not bad it's just really different also Jared hello I haven't seen you in a while it has been a while uh, Jared says that this place has been around for several years but I've never heard of it but we also never go to Conway so maybe that's why but it's pretty good man what do you think I like it yeah it's good also Jared. Jared that guy we don't go to Conway very often, but it's nice to know that if we are in Conway, we have a good place to eat chicken, since chicken is really important. Um, today, I'm going to talk about, or at least briefly, something that was going to be the subject of a vlog two weeks ago. You recall that two weeks ago I did a series of vlogs that were all one day, and I was like, hey, these were topic vlogs, and I will discuss them later. Okay, well now I'm going to discuss one of them. Uh, one of the things I had talked about was my need for a smartphone. You see, whenever I was at PAX East, there were quite a few times where a smartphone would have benefited me greatly, uh, particularly seeing Twitter. There was a lot of times people were trying to talk to me or find me using Twitter, since that's the easiest way to contact someone, and since I don't have a smartphone, I couldn't respond. I couldn't see that they were looking for me. I couldn't uh, find out this information. So it made me think, even harder about the fact that having a smartphone would be really nice. So, 2013 is going to be the year. 2013 is, is going to be the year. And two weeks ago, when I made the first vlog about this, there was not as much information out as there is now about this new thing they're doing with T-Mobile. I'm a T-Mobile customer, and T-Mobile is actually changing um, how they do things. There's no longer going to be contracts and they are going to start uh, carrying the iPhone in just a, f a few more days. And I actually started looking at their prices, how much it would cost for me to get an iPhone. And it was pretty expensive. And I was like, well, you know, how much would it cost at that point to add Mal? And at that point, it was the same price that she's paying now. And I was like, okay, so if I want to get a smartphone, Mal can get an iPhone, you know, we can both get iPhones, and it will be no additional cost to Mal at all. And then I was like, I wonder how much it would cost to have my parents included. I was just curious. And it would actually be cheaper to add them to what me and Mal would pay than for my parents to continue paying what they're paying. Which means, and this is going to sound crazy, that all four of us will probably get iPhones this year. Because it's cheaper for my parents to get iPhones with us than to continue paying what they're paying. And they're already not paying very much. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's really cool. I mean, the fact that we can all have iPhones and it would actually be cheaper for my parents than what they're paying. Now, um, I guess the funniest part of all of this is imagining my parents using iPhones. My parents aren't exactly the most tech-savvy people. 
Um, I feel like my dad could probably get the hang of it, but it's it's really hard to imagine my mom using an iPhone. I'm sure both of them will learn. I mean, iOS seems to be designed, in Alex's words, for grandma, so I'm sure that my parents will get it. It's just really strange. For example, um, neither of my parents know how to text. They've never had text abilities on their phones, and the whole I, the whole concept of it confuses them. On the very few occasions I've been in a situation where I needed to text them, sometimes they don't really know how to open it and read it. Um, so they've always used their phones as phones. So to suddenly have phones that are essentially computers, to have smartphones, it's going to be interesting. Me and Mal are going to have to give them a class. Now as, as far as when we're going to go through with this and get the phones, I don't know. Um, it's not like a huge rush to get them, but I would I would really like to have it before PAX Prime, just because I saw how much I could have used it in PAX East. So I'd like to at least have it before the next PAX event. Um, otherwise, there's no real deadline. But I wanted to let you guys know, because I know I've, I've actually had vlogs before about smartphones and how I had a dumb phone and how I didn't really see the need for a smartphone, but I, I do see the need for a smartphone. And it's just a situation where, you know, PAX is, a single example but there are other times where I'd really like to be more connected especially with you know what I do for a living which is essentially create content and communicate with you guys it would be I guess better for me to be able to be more connected um, on a regular basis especially at these conventions and those types of things so I just wanted to let you know that 2013 will be the year of the smartphone and probably my entire family will have iPhones, which will be a little weird. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?